promo le ma sanda yaba more ba so promo le ma sun terebo oh let's begin to worship the most high god let's begin to give him all the glory all the honor all the adoration the bible says he's the king of kings let's worship him let's give him all the glory all the honor all the adoration when i come into your presence i'm so happy hallelujah when i come into your presence i'm so glad in your presence there is anointing holy spirit moves around me in your presence anointing breaks the yoke when i look when i come into your presence i'm so happy hallelujah when i come into your presence i'm so glad in your presence there is anointing holy spirit moves around me in your presence anointing praise the lord when i come when i come into your presence i'm so happy hallelujah when i come into your presence i'm so glad in your presence there is anointing holy spirit moves around me in your presence and writing breaks the yoke emmanuel glory to your name emmanuel honor to your name emmanuel emmanuel glory to your name emmanuel honor to your honor to your name emmanuel glory to your name emmanuel honor to your name all i have is you in heaven and heart all i have is you all I have is you in heaven and not. All I have is you, Jesus. All I have is you, Jesus. All I have is you. All I have is you in heaven and heart. All I have is you. All I have is you in heaven and heart. All I have is you. Jesus, all I have is you. Jesus, all I have is you. All I have is you in heaven and not. All I have is you. All I have is you in heaven and not. All I have is you. Jesus, all I have is you. Jesus, all I have is you. Let's begin to worship the lion of the tribe of Judah, the lily of the valley, the bright and the morning star, the uncreated creator, the son of Jesse. Let's lift him high. Let's worship him. Let's give him all the glory, all the honor, all the adoration. The omnipotent God, the omnipresent God, the omniscience God. Let's worship him. Let's adore him for making us to go to bed and wake up safe and sound. It is not because we want to wake up. It is because he woke us up. Daddy, we magnify you. Father, we give you all the praise and all the honor. Be thou magnified in the mighty name of Jesus. Immortal, invisible God, only wise. Enlighten us, see, it from eyes. Most blessed, most glorious, the ancient of days. Almighty, victorious, thy great name be praised. Immortal, invisible, God only wise, enlighten us, see, from eyes. Most blessed, most glorious, the ancient of days, almighty, victorious, thy great name be praised. 
And we are saying, Faithful are you, Lord. Faithful are you, Lord. Faithful are you, Lord. Faithful, and we are saying, Mighty are you, Lord. Mighty are you, Lord. Mighty are you, Lord. Mighty, and we are saying, Faithful are you, Lord. Faithful are you, Lord. Faithful are you, Lord. Faithful, and we are saying, Glorious you are. Jesus, glorious you are, glorious you are, glorious forever, O oh Lord, thy word is settled in heaven, it is settled in heaven forever, O oh Lord, O oh Lord, thy word is settled in heaven, it is settled let's begin to worship god the one that his word is settled in heaven let's give him all the honor all the glory the bible says he's the prince of peace the lily of the valley the bright and the morning star the holy one of israel we worship you lord all glory be unto you O lord in the mighty name of jesus all glory be unto you all glory be unto you all honor be unto you O lord in the mighty name of jesus we worship you lord we worship you we give you praise thank you for the honor thank you O lord for waking us up Thank you for all that you have done that we can see, Lord, and that which we cannot see. We give you praise and we honor your name. All glory be unto you, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. You are awesome in this place, mighty God. You are awesome in this place, our Father. You are worthy of our praise. To you our lives we praise. You are honoring in this place, mighty God. Glory, honor, power, majesty be unto our Lord. Glory, honor, power, majesty. Be unto Christ our God. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. Oh, I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. Jehovah, oh, you are the most high. Jehovah, oh, you are the most high God. Jehovah, oh, you are the most high. Jehovah, oh, you are the most high God. Jehovah, oh, you are the most high. Jehovah, oh, you are the most high God. Jehovah, oh, you are the most high. Jehovah, oh, you are the most high God. Let's begin to worship the most high God, the most excellent God, the most beautiful God, the almighty God, the all-knowing God. Oh, Father, we worship you, the all-sufficient God. We give you all the praise, Lord. We give you all the honor. You are mightier than the mightiest, Lord. You are greater than the greatest. You are the ancient of days, the eternal rock of ages, the holy one of Israel. Oh, you are the rose of Sharon, the lion of the tribe of Judah. You are the alpha, you are the omega. You are the beginning, you are the ending. We lift up your name, Lord. None can be compared unto you. You are matchless. You are worthy, our defender, our healer. We give you praise, O oh Lord. 
Lord. You are our restorer. You are our provider. Lord, you are our promoter. Thank you for all that you have done in ages past. Thank you for what you are doing now. Thank you, Daddy, for what you will yet do. All glory, Lord, be unto you in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's begin to thank the Almighty God from January. Let's thank him up to this moment. Let's thank him from Monday. We went to work. Now we are going to work this morning and we will come back safe and sound. Let's just thank him ahead of what he's going to do today. Father, we glorify your name. We glorify you. We lift your name high. Thank you for your plans for our life. Thank you for your thoughts. Thank you for all that you have destined, Lord. All glory be unto you, O Lord. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. I want us to ask for forgiveness of all our sins. The Bible says, if you regard iniquity in your heart, I will not hear you. Let's go before the throne of mercy. Let's ask God, please, Lord, have mercy. Whatever I might have done, oh, Lord, please have mercy. The Bible says, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy. I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. It is not of him that will it or him that run it. It is, the, it is of the Lord that showeth mercy. Let's ask God for mercy. Let's ask him to wipe out all our sins. Wherever we have come short of your glory, Lord, please, Lord, have mercy. We pray that our prayer, O oh Lord, this morning will not be in vain in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, the most excellent God. Glory be unto your name, O oh Lord. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. This morning, from the scriptures, I'm going to be showing us the reason why God will answer our prayers this morning. Let's go into the book of the, the book of First Samuel, chapter seven, verse nine. The book of First Samuel, chapter seven, verse nine. For those people that are just joining us, I want us to go into the book of First Samuel, chapter seven. And verse 9. All glory be unto God. The book of 1 Samuel, chapter 7, and verse 9. The Bible says, and Samuel took a suckling lamb and offered it as a whole burnt offering to the Lord. Then Samuel cried out to the Lord of, for Israel, and the Lord answer, answered him. The Lord will answer you this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. Not because we qualify to be answered, but because it's our God and he will answer us. Let's open our Bible again to the book of Isaiah 45 verse 11. The book of Isaiah chapter 45. Let's go into verse 11. The Bible says, Thus says the Lord, the Holy One of Israel and his Maker, Ask me of things to come concerning my sons and concerning the work of my hands. You command me. And that is exactly what we are going to do this morning. Let's go again finally to the book of Isaiah 48. And that in verse 11 as well the book of isaiah 48 verse 11 the bible says for my own sake not because of us for my own sake for my own sake i will do it for how will my name be profaned and i will not give my glory to another if you look into the book of uh, another version nlt say how will my name my reputation be tarnished how will it be tarnished and I will not give my glory to another. You will not give God's glory to another in the name of Jesus. I want us to pray this morning, Almighty God, as we cry out unto you this morning, please answer all our prayers. Answer every one of us in the name of Jesus. Tell the Most High God, Father Almighty, this morning, as we cry unto you this morning, please answer our prayers, O Lord. Let our prayers not be a waste, O Lord. Let it not be in vain in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, for your name's sake, only because of you, Lord, how will my name be profane concerning me and everyone on this prayer line? Let your name not be tarnished, O Lord. Let your reputation not be tarnished, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we give you praise. 
we honor you this morning. As we pray this morning, please, Lord, hear us and answer us. Oh, Lord, speedily in the mighty name of Jesus. Hear us this morning, oh, Lord. The Bible said you at somewhere and you answered him oh lord this morning as many as are on this prayer line oh lord i pray in the name that is above every other name that all our requests this morning will not be in vain oh lord that all our requests this morning will not be a waste oh lord in the mighty name of jesus thank you our heavenly father for in jesus mighty name we have prayed i want us to pray this morning using psalm 86 verse 17 the book of Psalm 86, verse 17. If you don't have your Bible this morning, please, I would like you to go and get your Bible. We are going to be praying from the Bible. Psalm 86, verse 17. Psalm 86, verse 17. The Bible says, show me a sign for good. May the Lord show you a sign for good this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus. He said, show me a sign for good that those who hate me may see it and be ashamed. Those who say you can never amount to anything. The Bible said that they may see it this morning and they will be ashamed because you, Lord, not because of us, because you, Lord, have helped me and comforted me. May the Lord send help and make help to be available unto every one of us this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. I want us to pray for special ideas this morning that will revive our finance. I want us to pray for innovations this morning that will revive our finance this morning. I want you to cry unto God, Father, give me ideas that will revive my finances in the mighty name of Jesus. Begin to tell the Almighty God, give me... A Give me ideas. Give me ideas. Innovations. New ideas. New innovations, Lord. That will revive my finance, oh Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. That we will cry this morning. That, Lord, you will give us ideas, oh Lord. That will revive, oh Lord, our finances in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, makrabalebo, sonto robo, yendrabalebo. Yentalamale bro, suntele mama, shentalaba. Brase kenderebo, suntalamale bro, sentelebo. Lord, this morning. Morning. Oh, ideas, oh Lord, fresh ideas that will revive our finances in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, our Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. I want us to open our Bible to the book of Genesis 26. Genesis 26, verse 22. Genesis chapter 26, verse 22. The Bible says, and he moved from there. Isaac moved from there and dug another well. Maybe that is your story. You have been going from one place to another and nothing is working. Things will start working for you from this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible says, and he moved from there and dug another well. And they did not quarrel over it. <laughs> so he called his name Rehoboth. Because he said, for now, for now, I repeat, for now, the Lord has made room for us and we shall be fruitful in the land. I want you to cry unto the most high God this morning that God make room for me <laughs> and make me to be fruitful round about in the mighty name of Jesus. Tell the most high God, the Bible say nobody quarreled over that well anymore. And they now call the place what? Rehoboth. Why? Because he said for now. For now, from now, for now, the Lord has made room for us. I want you to tell the Most High God this morning, Lord, make room for me. Every areas of my life, physically, spiritually, maritally, materially, tell the Most High God in the assignment that you have given to me, make room for us, Lord. Tell God this morning, God, make room for me. Make room for me. Make me to be fruitful round about. Make me to be fruitful physically, spiritually, maritally. Tell God round about me, let me be fruitful. Lord. The Bible said that for now the Lord has made room for us. God, make room for me. Tell the Most High God, make room for my husband, make room for my wife, make room for my children, make room for the household of God. Tell God in your community, Lord, make room for us. Make us a voice, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Tell the Most High God, Lord, make me to be fruitful in every area, in every phase of my life, in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, the Most excellent God for in Jesus mighty name we have prayed same Genesis 26 I want us to see verse 30 
the same Genesis, sorry, verse 32, the same Genesis 20, 26. I want us to see verse 32. Verse 32, Genesis 20, verse 32. The Bible says it came to pass the same day, that same day that Isaac's servants came and told him about the well which they had dug and said to him, we have found water. <laughs> I don't know what you are looking for. Whatever it is that you are looking for, you will find it. You will, it will locate you in the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible says we have found water. Whatever it is in this country, wherever you are looking for such a thing you will find it in the name of jesus the servant came to him they said what they have found water they have found water i want you to know that water stands for satisfaction people of god everyone drinks water all over the world we might not all be speaking the same language but what everyone do, does what they drink water some of us may drink coke but afterwards we still look for water to drink I want you to tell the Almighty God, the, tell the Almighty God, Almighty God, please satisfy me. Tell God, satisfy me. Satisfy me physically, satisfy me spiritually, maritally, materially. Tell God, Lord Almighty, satisfy me with all that I need. The Bible says I will supply all your needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Tell God this morning, please satisfy me satisfy me provide for me all that i need all that i need to be who you want me to be lord please satisfy me oh most excellent god oh father beyond human reasoning satisfy me lord advertise and announce me all over tell god satisfy me beyond human reasoning satisfy me satisfy me advertise me and announce me in the mighty name of jesus thank you almighty god I want us to tell God this morning, every mountain threatening my destiny, let it be removed now in the name of Jesus. Every mountain, whatever mountain that is threatening your destiny, whatever it is that is threatening your marriage, your home, your life, tell the Most High God, Father, remove it now by your power in the mighty name of Jesus. Remove every mountain that is threatening, oh Lord, my, my, my word, my life in you in the mighty name of Jesus. Tell God, Daddy, this morning I pray that God Almighty wipe out every power that is threatening my destiny in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, everlasting God, for in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. I want us to open our Bible again to the book of Exodus. Exodus chapter 15. Exodus chapter 15. I read verse 26. And said, if you diligently eat the word of the Lord your God, if you diligently eat the word of the Lord your God and do what is right in his sight. May you do what is right in the sight of God. The Bible says if your way pleases the Lord, he will even make all your enemies to do what will be at peace with you. The Bible says what? If you do what is right in his sight, if you give ear to his commandments and keep all his statutes, look at what God himself says. He said, I will put none of these diseases on you which I have brought on the Egyptians, for what I am the Lord who heals you. I am the Lord who does what who heals you. I want you to pray to God this morning. Father, destroy every root of sickness in my body, spirit, and soul. Tell God, every root of sickness, Lord, remove from me in the name of Jesus. Lord, destroy it in the name of Jesus. Whatever it is that is sickness, whatever name that is called, I decree and I say, Lord, this morning, destroy every root, so Lord. Destroy every root in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of cancer you are put to shame this morning. Oh, you will not see the light of the day anymore in the mighty name of Jesus. Every 
every power, O oh Lord, of sickness and diseases. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, the Bible says one church is a thousand and two. That is, we are more than two, three, four, five. And this morning, oh Lord, by the calculation of every mathematics, Lord, we say destroy every root of sickness. Destroy every root of sickness. Physical, spiritual, marital, material. Lord, round the bout, oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Every root of sickness in our community, Lord, destroy in the mighty name of Jesus. I say, God, destroy in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever it is that the Lord, that the doctors have said concerning any one of us, we say, Lord, we destroy this morning only by the name of Jesus, by the blood of the Lamb, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, Almighty, in the name that is above every other name, destroy every root of sickness, O oh Lord, in my body, in our body, in our soul and spirit this morning, in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, the Bible said the Egyptians we see, we will see them no more. Every Egyptian in our life, Lord, this morning, we command in the name of Jesus, destroy every root of this, every root of sickness. The Bible says you will answer us this morning only for your sake, O oh Lord. Daddy, we say for your sake only, destroy every root of sickness, in the name name of Jesus. Oh, destroy, destroy this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, the most powerful God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. I want us to open to the book of Luke chapter 1 verse 37. Luke chapter 1 and that in verse 37. I don't want us to be too familiar with all these Bible verses. Uh, I know we have all prayed them out, but please let's pray this morning. The Bible says, for with God, nothing will be impossible. I want you to say that to God concerning yourself and your family. That for with God, nothing shall be impossible. I want you to tell the most high God, Father, break every chain of impossibility around me. Destroy and break every chain of impossibility. Whatever it is that looks impossible, whatever people see in me, physically and they can say <laughs> how will this come to an end Lord break it and Lord destroy every chain of impossibility around me, around my children around my husband, around my wife, around every of my family in the mighty name of Jesus Father this morning Lord destroy and break every chain of impossibility, destroy and break every chain of impossibility around me and my family in the mighty name of Jesus Mantelebole Drabalebo Sunti Lord, destroy every chain of impossibility in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Let's open our Bible to the book of Hebrew chapter 13. The book of Hebrew chapter 13, verse 8. Hebrew chapter 13, verse 8. The Bible says, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and what, and forever. I want you to tell God, this our God is an unchangeable changer, is an unchangeable Lord. He does not change, but He changes unproductive situations. He, cha he changes situations that we don't like. I want you to tell the Almighty God this morning, Father, change my situation for better from today in the name of Jesus. Ah, change my situation for better, O oh Lord. Whatever is in me, O oh Lord, that cannot prove that I am, I am a child of God. Father, change it in the name of Jesus. You are the unchangeable Lord, which means you can do all things. I want us to pray to God this morning. Every situation that is unproductive round about me, Lord, please change it from this morning. Please take it and remove it away, O oh Lord. Every weapon of the enemy, remove it this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever it is that is walking contrary to your name in my life Lord this morning put an end to it in the mighty name of Jesus I say Father put an end to it in the mighty name of Jesus thank you the most powerful God for in Jesus mighty name we have prayed I want us to pray Matthew chapter 5 verse 14 the book of Matthew chapter 5 verse 14 Matthew chapter 5, verse 14. I think someone is trying to unmute it. Please, can we leave it muted, please? 
Thank you very much. Um, Matthew chapter 5 verse 14 says, You are the light of the world. You are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hidden. You will not be hidden anymore in the mighty name of Jesus. I say from today, you will not be hidden anymore in the mighty name of Jesus. I want you to cry unto the almighty God. Almighty God, please fill me with your light and let me shine across the whole world. Tell God this morning, whatever it is that you do, whatever it is, tell the most high God this morning. Oh, tell me, tell the most high God this morning. Father, fill me with your light. Fill me with your light. Cause me to shine and let me shine across the whole world. Enough is enough. And you tell the most high God this morning, enough is enough. Father, Please fill me with your light and let me shine across the whole world, oh Lord. Fill me with your light. The Bible says I cannot be hidden anymore. I cannot be, the, I say I, I'm, a, I'm a light to the world. Tell God this morning, fill me with your light and let me shine across the whole world. Father, this morning, how I pray in the name of Jesus, that Lord, you will fill me with your light and you will cause me to shine across the whole world. This morning, I pray in the name that is above every other name, the name of Jesus Christ. I pray this morning, oh Lord, fill me with your light, Lord, and let me shine across the whole world. Holy Spirit, fill me with your light. Let me shine across the whole world, oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Mandre bole kaba ba 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 yenda la ba bro sunto ro bole ndra ba le bo sunte bro male mo 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 sunte bra le ke bo sunta la ma ye bro sunto yere ma sunte le bo 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 ye mandre bole kaba so pro mo le ma sunte Lord I pray in the mighty name of Jesus fill me with your light and let me shine across the whole world fill all our children oh Lord with your light your powerful light and let us shine across the whole world in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus. All our children, fill them with your light, O Lord, and let every one of us shine across the whole world in the name of Jesus. I want us to pray. Matthew 15, verse 13. The, the book of Matthew, chapter 15. Matthew, chapter 15, verse 13. The Bible says, You. Matthew 15, verse 13. The Bible says, But he answered and said, Every plant which my heavenly Father has not planted will be uprooted. Every plant. Every plant. <laughs> that what? The end, that, that my father, heavenly Father has not planted will be uprooted. I want you to know that. <laughs> the Bible says, Surely they will gather. He said, Not by me. I will interpret to that, that to mean that I don't know about their gathering. I don't know about what they are doing. I don't know, but he promised one thing. He said, they will all fall for your sake. I want you to tell the Almighty God this morning. Or put and pull out everything you have not planted in my life. Tell God this morning, Father in heaven, or put and pull out everything you have not planted in my life. Tell the Most High God this morning, Father, uproot and pull out everything that Lord you have not put in my life, that you have not planted in my home, that you have not planted in my marriage, that you have not planted in my job, that you have not planted in your church in the mighty name of Jesus. Father this morning I pray in the name of Jesus, the name that is above every other name. The Bible says that the name of Jesus every name was bow of things in heaven and on earth. I cry this morning unto you, uproot and pull out everything you have not planted in my life. Ah Lord this morning, oh Almighty God, uproot and pull out everything you have not planted in my life. You have not planted in the life of my husband. You have not planted in the life of my wife. You have not planted in the life of my children. Lord, this morning uproot it, O oh Lord. Uproot and pull out everything in the name of Jesus. Oh, yes, Lord. Daddy, uproot and pull out to the glory of your name, O oh Lord. You say your glory will not be will not be given to another. Daddy, begin to uproot. Begin to pull out. Begin to uproot and pull out everything you have not planted in my life. In the name of Jesus. 
before we pray for ourselves i want us to pray for the pray with the book of my we're still in the book of matthew chapter 20 uh, sorry matthew chapter 2 verse 20 the book of matthew chapter 2 verse 20 matthew chapter 2 verse 20 the bible says i will take it from verse 19 the bible says now when Herod was dead behold an angel of the lord appeared in a dream to joseph in egypt saying arise i'm saying daughter of daughters of dion arise i'm saying men of velo arise he says take the young child and his mother and go to the land of israel why why he said for those who sought out the young child's life are, are what they are dead all of them are dead that is what the word of god says he said, now you can go you are free to go god can do it god, god could have killed all of them for them but no he commanded them to leave them alone now he said they are all they are what they are dead i want you to tell the almighty god this morning father terminate and consume by fire the plans of those who are seeking after my life the plans of those who are not happy with what you are doing in my life i say lord terminate and consume by fire all their plans all their weapons this morning in the mighty name of jesus i want you to begin to tell the most high god father this morning i command in the name of jesus oh Oh Lord, terminate and consume. Rema sende lebo yendra baba ba ye. Trobo le kaba supromo le masunti. Yendra baba ba ye mo soto ndurobo. Yendra ba le mo supromo le masunto. Yendre bo le kaba sunte le. Matra ba le mo sunde. Oh, re mo sunta la ba yendre. Begin to tell the Almighty God. Ready from now on. Let me. Let me move forward every day of my life. Tell God this morning, I reject every spirit of stagnancy in my life. Tell God this morning, oh, move me forward, move me forward. I request special lifting in my life in the mighty name of Jesus. Move me forward, enough is enough. I reject every spirit of stagnancy in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, I don't want to be eating anymore. Lord, move me forward in the mighty name of Jesus. I come against every spirit, oh, law of stagnancy in the mighty name of jesus i want us to pray finally for favor god give me exceptional favor give me uncommon favor tell the almighty some people i don't know if you have experienced it at work probably you will just sit down and you are expecting some few things to happen and it's not happening and somebody who sat down gently and did not ask for anything they would not call the person to, to say do you want to do you, do you want to partake of this and you sit down and be looking and say ah Aha, what is happening here? I want you to pray to God. God, give me exceptional favor. Favor me, O oh Lord. Every door that I will knock from now on, let them willingly open for me in the mighty name of Jesus. Tell God this morning. The Bible said that the gates opened, the first gate opened for Peter <laughs> with the angel, willingly. And the second gate opened and he went out. I want you to tell the Most High God this morning. Let me find favor in the sight of those that matter. Oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Let me find favor, Lord. Let me find favor. Exceptional favor. Oh, unusual favor, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let me find a common favor from this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus. And this to the glory of your name. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord Almighty, I pray for exceptional favor. Favor me round about, oh Lord. Favor me, favor me, favor me, oh Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Mali bro sentelebo, chromo de caba suntere, mandrebo de caba sondorobo, ye kerebo supramo de machantalaba, braca baba baba baye, mantelebo de drabalibo sunte, motrabalibo supramo de machindalaba, craba baba baye mo sunte, mantelebo de drabalibo suntelemo, mandrebo de caba sondorobo, Lord Almighty, exceptional favor, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. Oh, give me favor, O Lord, favor me round about in the name of Jesus. O Lord, the Bible says. Solomon, all the all those things that Solomon did not even ask for. The Bible said he asked for wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. And he said to him that God said to him, those things that you did not even ask for, I will grant unto you like riches. Tell the most high God this morning. We have prayed this morning, but those things that we have not asked for, please, Lord, give unto us in the mighty name of Jesus. Let it let them be our portion this morning. Those things that we have not even remembered to pray for, please, Lord, grant them, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. 
Before we go, I want you to pray for yourself. I just want you to ask. I want you, the Bible says we should continue to ask until what? Our joy is full. And my prayer for you and myself this morning is that our prayer, our, our joy will be full. Totally full and complete in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's pray for ourselves. Let's ask, oh Lord, that God grant me this. Because I woke up this morning. Ah, some people are still sleeping. Don't, don't, you cannot measure up with them. They, they can never measure up with you. Tell God this morning. Because I woke up this morning to seek after you. Please, Lord, concerning this, concerning this, and concerning that, please grant them unto me. Please, Lord, let me not be put to shame. The Bible says, my elect shall not be put to shame. The, my elect shall enjoy the labors of their hand. Tell God this morning, Lord, help me to enjoy what I have labored for. Let me not be replaced. Let me not be displaced, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Let me not die untimely. Tell the Almighty God. The Bible says in old age we are going to do what flourish and blossom. Tell God this morning, you have spoken about old age. I will not die before my time. Tell God. Tell the Almighty God, I will not be replaced. Nobody will displace me. Nobody will stand for me to represent me anywhere in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus. Almighty God, help me, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. One thing I want us to, to always and continually pray for is that God will help us. One day, when my, my, when my brother was getting married, my, God, my brother apparently got married to one of the big, uh, these big guns in Nigeria, and I was there, and I stood, you know, when I stood up to talk, I was looking into my heart. I said, God, if my mother can, can, can stand up and come and do this herself, how wonderful will it have be? Thank God Almighty. Let nobody, let no one represent me anywhere because I will not die before my time. Tell the Almighty God this morning, oh, I will not be replaced. I will not be displaced in the mighty name of Jesus. Every power of sickness, I come against you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Almighty God. Thank you so much, O oh Lord, for this great opportunity that you have given unto you, unto us. It is not by power, it is not by might. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Before we round up, I want to use this opportunity to invite us to I shall not labor in vain in the morning, tomorrow 9 a.m. We are going to be dancing, we are going to be praising God. There won't be any prayer, but we are going to dance for God. We are going to roll on the floor for God. Join us and partake of this glorious time in his presence and god will bless you we don't regret it in the name of jesus let us pray father we just want to glorify your name the bible says as you are spoken in your ears how so you are going to do unto us we have said little that we can say please lord breathe upon our prayer and answer us speedily in the mighty name of jesus daddy as we go out this morning may we not look like the one they are looking for uh, as we go out this morning, Lord Almighty, Jehovah, we not, we will not get into trouble, into problem in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we cover ourselves with the our blood of Jesus. We build a wall of fire around the back of our family, and we say no evil shall befall us. Every plan of the enemy, every gathering that is not known to God, Daddy, we return it back to sender in the mighty name of Jesus. Our God, let it be well with us. Satisfy us as we have prayed, O oh Lord. Grant all our hard desires, O oh Lord. The power to stand before known men and not unknown men in that name of, grant unto us you say you are we are the light of the world oh lord let your light oh lord shine upon us and our lives and our loved ones in the name of jesus thank you for who you are oh lord for in jesus mighty name we have prayed may the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of god and the sweet fellowship of the holy spirit be with us now and forevermore surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and i shall dwell in the house of the lord forever and ever and ever and ever amen thank you so much for joining us next week is another day the lord will keep us beyond that time in the name of jesus thank you so much bye for now